Hi, John Baker here from RotacRepair.ca. What do I have here? A cylinder from a 582, it's a Model 90. Uh, what I'd like to talk about today is cleaning the cylinder after it's been honed. Uh, I do all of my own cylinder boring in-house and I do, of course, all of my own honing. So when we finish honing the cylinder, it's a process where we're using and abrasive stones to remove some metal to put a new finish on it. In the process of removing that metal, of course, it's, there's grit there. So we can't put the engine back together. Uh, you know, this, this looks clean, but it's not. So the process that I use is probably what uh, most of you may be familiar with, is it's honed and then you take it to the sink and use hot soapy water and scrub it out. It looks clean and then great, you did a great job and you clean it. However, there is a next step that you can use that just takes a little bit of time and effort and you'll have them absolutely clean because after you clean them with hot soapy water, there's still microscopic grit on there. And uh, I'll show you exactly what I mean uh, when we get to that point. So anyway, I'm gonna go over uh, to the uh, to the uh, sink right now and use the hot soapy water and the brush and scrub it all out and then we'll move on to the additional step to make it super clean. Oh, lots of soapy water. Uh, what am I using to do this? Uh, it's actually a uh, toilet brush. I have a nice colored one that's smaller for 503 and the larger white one to do the 582s with. So I'm trying to get right into all the grooves from the uh, new honing to get all the debris out. And we'll give it a rinse and we'll dry it off. So now I've cleaned them the way everybody is used to. One more step that you can clean them even better. So I have some a recycled bottle, my favorite kind of food here. Uh, anyway, automatic transmission fluid in it. And this little wiper that I have clipped in here is a lint-free wiper. So um, you need to use something with no lint. So if you're just using a cotton thing uh, or some kind of a, a wiper or something, uh, you're going to probably put more lint in it than you're going to take the dirt out and uh, then it'll just be uh, gritty lint in there. Okay, so I soaked it up, and what I'm gonna do is, this thing we wanna do anyway, we wanna oil these so that they don't get uh, any rust on them. And look, look at this. Is that amazing or what? I mean, I just, you just watched me wash this in hot soapy water, and look at how much stuff has come off. So uh, it's incredible the amount, the extra amount of grit that you can get out of here. Now, I don't want the grit um, inside the engine. You know, I mean, that would sort of, uh, why, why start it up and fill it full of dirt? I mean, it looked clean, but it was not clean at all. So I'm just going to tear it on and get the whole, the whole um, cylinder done anywhere where there could be grit, I'm going to go and clean it. And I mean, just look at this cloth. Look at the grit that I got out of there. Isn't that amazing? So uh, just good old fashioned uh, automatic transmission fluid, anything will do. And again, lint free wiper. So I'm just going to switch it over to a cleaner spot. Uh, and this is, uh, there we go. So. Now I'm going to take a clean one this time and um, run it through and see what I get on a clean cloth. Oops, I didn't fold that one quite right. Here we go. Oh, there's still, see there's still some black on there. Oops. Yep.
And there's still quite a bit of oil on here from before. I mean, I put quite a bit of oil on it. But, uh, automatic transmission fluid, uh, high detergent. And cleans up, cleans this stuff up very well. So, what do we have on this go around? See that? Look at that. And you'd actually think that these were clean after you washed them with um, dish soap. Um, I mean, it's uh, it's just from the dollar store. It's the same stuff I wash my dishes with. It works well at home. So I'm just going to continue on. And the whole process here is to just keep going until you can get a wiper out that's, uh, that's clean. All right, so just finished this one up. Clean, nice. Okay, I've, I've been a few minutes doing this, but uh, it's well worth the time and effort. The very first one that we started with, I flipped it over and uh, it picked up a lot of uh, microscopic uh, dirt, uh, grit. Could be from the uh, stones, from the uh, honing stones. Uh, it, can, it can also be um, microscopic little chunks of, of the cylinder, the metal itself. Um, none of those things we want to go through the engine. This is the one that uh, I used and finished up with and um, this one here, I'll just use this for the next oily one. I won't throw this one out. I'll recycle that one. But uh, you keep going until they, they come out clean. So that's the way to, uh, that's the way to do it, uh, as far as I can see. Uh, why have all of that grit in the engine? You didn't even know it was there. I get it. But uh, you can make it much cleaner. So uh, maybe you'll try that. Uh, if you're ever honing your cylinders, you know somebody that's honing their cylinders, See what results they get. I'm sure they're going to get a lot of grit off of them. Uh, it uh, does everything, uh, makes the ring seat in faster, the engine will make more power, um, and, uh, and, it, and the engine should last longer because you're not starting it up and circulating grit through it instantly. Like, subscribe please if you, uh, if you uh, desire to do so, and uh, see you another day. Thank you. Bye now.